Today is Friday, February 14th, 2014. Happy Valentine's Day. On this day in history, in 1929, Sir Alexander Fleming actually accidentally discovered penicillin. In 1884, Theodore Roosevelt's mother and wife both passed away on the same day. His mother died of typhoid fever, and a couple hours later, his wife died of a severe kidney disease called Bright's disease. Uh, leaving behind a two-day-old daughter, Alice, who Theodore Roosevelt raised on his own. Um, apparently she was a handful. One day she broke into the White House and um, interrupted a meeting and he said to his audience, he said, I can either run the country or I can control Alice, but I can't possibly do both. Um, obviously today is Valentine's Day and on this day in history, in the year 2078, under the rule of Emperor Claudius in Rome, A.D. Valentine, who was a priest there, um, was married, his part of his role was to marry, marry people. Um, but the emperor believed that men were not joining the army because they didn't want to leave behind their wives and their families. So he outlawed marriage. Well, uh, Valentine didn't uh, heed his, his ruling and he uh, married people anyway. Um, so he was executed and beheaded. Um, legend also has it that while he was in prison, before he was executed, uh, he left a farewell note to the jailer's daughter who became his friend and he signed it from your Valentine. So that supposedly is the origination of that. Um, Valentine's Day to this day is celebrated in Italy, Mexico, Canada, France, Australia, and the United Kingdom. It's the biggest greeting card day after Christmas. And uh, we sell eight billion candy hearts. And if you were to line those up, they would stretch from Italy to Arizona 20 times. Um, it's also the second busiest holiday for restaurants next to Mother's Day. Um, in keeping with the heart theme, I wanted to talk just a little bit about heart disease and prevention of heart disease. It's the leading cause of death in the United States. Over 600,000 people die of heart disease in the U.S. every year. Uh, that's one in four deaths are a result of heart disease. 715,000 people have heart attacks every year. Um, and for whatever reason, the deaths are highest in the South and lowest in the West in the United States. Um, there are certainly things you can do to prevent heart disease. And, and I, it's repeating what I'm sure you've, all, you've heard a number of times, but um, controlling your blood pressure is critical to controlling heart disease. Uh, smoking, uh, stopping smoking is of course a very uh, critical thing. Lowering your cholesterol, and being sure that you get enough exercise. Uh, the Mayo Clinic has said that there are a couple things that are actually good for your heart. One of those things, of course in moderation, is red wine, and the other is dark chocolate. So I guess to bring this thing full circle, if you wanna celebrate Valentine's Day and be good to your heart, you can indulge with moderate amount of red wine and dark chocolate. Thanks so much, have a great Valentine's Day and a, a good weekend, bye-bye.